All right, welcome back. We continue right here. Bob Pompiani along with Chris Muller and you at 412-575-2600. James in Wilkinsburg is next up. Chris, let's go to James. What's up, James? Yes, I would like to talk. James, just talk to us. I would like to talk about how uh, Wassenberger just sits back there and he can't throw the ball downfield. And it's still as deep. I mean, it still as cannot be the four and seven team. And... Guess what? Seattle games. lost to the Giants, too. This game is not as easy as you think it is. And this was a team trending in the right direction. I wasn't surprised the point spread went from 10 to 6. Washington has played better. They're playing for division as well. You may not like their team, but I give them credit. I, I, I think their defense is getting better. They have young players looking to play, Chris. And Alex Smith, I give him a ton of credit. I never thought he'd be able to come back and then win back, do what he's been doing. And he was good tonight, I thought. Uh, he was good, but I give his receivers credit for making more of the plays. Sims, I thought, was clearly the player of the game with three big plays uh, that put them in position to get points, including the winning points. And really, most of those were supreme individual efforts. We knew before this game that everyone talked about Washington's defense being sneaky good. It was such an obvious talking point for so many people. I think everyone knew it. You want know, to know what the real stat was before this game that should have given you pause? Total offense, so yards. Washington was 25th or 26th in the NFL. You know where the Steelers were coming into this game? 21st. Uh, yeah, I was going to say That tells you that they were over their skis. They were mm. over their skis a little bit with how many points they were getting because of their defense forcing turnovers. That was the ominous stat, and guess what? It proved to be too true tonight. Well, they also have some injuries to deal with, and I'm wondering about Robert Spillane. We saw Williamson obviously come in, but again, you're talking about depth issues. Uh, with High Smith over there behind him, a Daney and just uh, J. Rod Elliott. If Spillane is lost for any period of time, what do they do for defensive help in the middle there, Chris? Because that's that's a big position that he was playing very well. I mean, they're exceptionally thin. I think it's the depth more than anything. He was certainly playing better than ever, I ever thought he would in extended time. But you just love, ideally, honestly, you would love for this to be nothing more than a week or two week thing because that's the exact reason you brought Williamson in. Uh, but they could certainly use as many fresh bodies as they possibly can get on that side of the football because, as you mentioned, they haven't had a break in a while. And that's why they've got to buckle down and find a way, I think, to run the table here because they desperately need that extra week. Chris, always a pleasure. Thanks, man. We'll see you soon. Always, always good. See ya. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks for calling us. We're back here tomorrow at 1035 and every night. It's for CW. is your place to chat on sports right here on the Sports Call. Good night, everyone. We'll see you on KDK.